Man, this video isn't scripted. I don't know. TikTok has so many bullshit beauty standards and it's exhausting. I say as I'm doing my makeup routine, I get it. I contribute to the issue. Legging legs. I can't even say to each their own because people are talking shit about these legging legs and it's affecting other pe people mostly you know younger people we are going to be talking shit and we are also going to be reviewing a blush because i do want to review the juvia's place yes blush that everyone's been saying is too pigmented which i think is the stupidest shit ever but i didn't go to ulta i went to target and i saw that elf came out with a liquid camo blush i don't know when they came out with it um but i want to review it so I got Dusty Rose, but as you can see, I don't have anything on except for my primer. We're going to be talking shit, figuring out what the hell legging legs are, and reviewing a blush as I impose more beauty standards onto you. Feel imposed upon. I know it's slightly controversial. I know it's slightly controversial to be shitting on beauty standards while I am reviewing makeup products and doing a like 56 step routine. Be who you are, except if you can't see shit, my nose piercing, then you should probably wear your glasses or your contacts. Unlike me, who will be squinting into her mirror for the entirety of this video. I really should have thought that through. I also more so do makeup for the art of it, though I am just coping because if I don't look good when walking out of the house, I will kill my- I feel like since we're gonna be seeing my wallpaper a lot, um, this is who the artist is. I feel like I should show this. I always keep it here so that when I stream, people don't have to ask and it's just there. Um, but we're gonna look on TikTok live and we're gonna see what the hell this is all about? Where's my contour? I found it. This is the Anastasia contour in Fawn. Do I need commentary? Should the video just end here? What else could I say? Give it videos! No! Trend? Do I need to take out the legging legs? What about legging? I felt like it was kind of important to censor the rest because it was just blatant body checking and it was just playing in the background, so... Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought this was going to be the shortest video in YouTube history. Coming on here with half my forehead contoured. I do want to get into the blush first, though, not gonna lie. So we're going to take it out of the packaging. It looks like this. I do like their camel line. The concealer isn't like my absolute wowza fave, but it is pretty solid. Oh, look at the applicator, it's so cute. I don't know how pigmented this is going to be, so I am going to put like, I'm gonna put like the tiniest dot. <laughs> and we're gonna see. I can't see. It would really help if I could see. Oh, that's pretty. I do wanna add a little bit more though. Um, I'm also gonna try Almost like a reverse contour with my nose. My shaky hands aren't built for this. Is it taking away my foundation? I mean, granted, that's not hard to do. Um, a little bit, but that's in like the typical spot. Or can y'all, can y'all see like right there? That's where it typically goes away though. So that might just be my face, my lovely, beautiful face that I should not be criticizing on a video, criticizing the beauty standards because they criticize our face and body. All right, let's get into these stupid legging legs. Let me just get my ugh, headphones. I love being able to hear. Oh, my page is muted. Oh, this person isn't criticizing them. Oh, so it's a thigh gap? Is that, is that it? Is, is that just, is it a thigh gap? I'm so confused, hold on. Let me add more blush. Okay, so are these all people just, oh, oh, it's a person talking about it. Okay, hold on, let me get my concealer. Haha, -ha, I will listen to this like I do a podcast. At 30 seconds. All right, this is from Alana W. Alana W. Got you. Can I just say that anybody thinks that thigh gaps are any better than a big fat butt has something wrong with them? Every woman is beautiful. 
we should not be tearing another person down to where they don't feel comfortable in what they're wearing. So, thigh gaps, it being a trend, needs to stay back in 2010 and make it to where everybody's comfortable in what they're wearing. It's 2024. We need to get over that crap. I agree. I'm honestly kind of surprised that thigh gaps are becoming a trend again because wasn't the whole thing for like a hot minute a giant butt? Like, how do you expect to get a giant butt and like teeny, 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 tiny little legs? Where is my powder? Why am I losing everything? I'm definitely not surprised that the younger generations are falling for this, but I'm also kind of surprised because a lot of my generation and the younger generation knows how prevalent video editing and photo editing is. That's probably mostly what's happening, at least in photos, when you see, you know, big butts and, and teeny tiny little thighs. I have not seen that happen naturally. I would be welcome to seeing a photo in like the least creepy way imaginable. But at the same time, like I said in my last video, you should watch it, there is a media literacy crisis. <laughs> I look like reverse Rudolph. So at the same time, I'm not surprised, especially because every generation has their thing. Um, do any of y'all think that this is partly to blame because of the Tumblr resurgence? Have y'all seen those TikToks? Hold on. Let me, let me pull one up. Let me pull one up so y'all know what I'm talking about. I forgot to pull one up. And I've seen a lot of them with, like, One Direction. Now, I was a teenager during the whole One Direction era. If anything, I was a little bit younger than a teenager when it all started. Um, I think it was in, like, elementary school. And, oh my god, that was so fun. So, I, I get why people wish that they were you know, a, a young person back when One Direction was a thing because, oh my god, I miss that so much. But let's see, because I found that if you search legging legge, okay, I think I found a video on it. I think I found a video. This is what I mean by reverse contouring, by the way, and I'm going to shut up and let this play before my concealer dries. That's how you look when you've just woken up. No, 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 no. We're not bringing back the thigh gap, okay? That was my childhood. It's gone. It's dead. What's in? Being strong. Having strong legs. Strong legs touch each other when you walk. All right? Legging legs are legs in leggings. I'm not, we can't be doing the thigh gap. It is, women, having muscle is good for you. If you have muscle, your legs will touch each other. Actually, even if you don't have muscle, it's all about how wide your hips are. Okay? Agreed. I don't have wide hips. My legs have always touched each other. My legs look awesome in leggings. No thigh gap. Yes, please. they do. Not. No, I don't want any more 12 and 13 year old girls thinking they need a thigh gap. I feel like it's also really important to mention that I'm not just talking about like skinny people with skinny legs. I'm talking about like heroin chic, like starve yourself to have skinny thighs. Skinny people's existence is not something to criticize. It's forcing someone to look like something else that they are not. Okay, so for the most part, I haven't seen really any commentary. I've mostly just seen people going, please God, no! And like, that's valid. I remember when I was younger, I remember almost none of my childhood, but I do remember some very traumatizing parts. And shrinking my legs was one of those things that I absolutely needed to do, especially because like out of my family, I was always kind of like the one of the chunkier ones. And so I remember whenever I would see my thought, don't mind me moisturizing my lips with lip plumper, by the way. Um, but yeah, I remember being absolutely mortified <laughs> when my thighs just whomp whenever I sat. And I would purposefully like hover my thighs over the chair so that they wouldn't just spread. So I unfortunately remember this quite quite well. I took a break, stole one of my father's beers, and now I'm back doing my eyeshadow with this ColourPop blush. It is in the shade... It's in the shade Flirt Alert. I don't know if they still make it. Um, but I feel like... Man, this video isn't scripted. I don't know. TikTok has so many bullshit beauty standards and it's exhausting. I say as I'm doing my makeup routine, I get it. I contribute to the issue. My hair is still wet. Don't mind that. My hair can hide my unique contour. <laughs> I love matching eyes and lips. I feel like that is a combo I will never abandon unless I'm wearing like neon blue eyeshadow. <laughs> all right, that's gonna be the end of this video. I didn't script this at all. I just came up with it at the top of my noggin. Let's see if any of y'all had requests 
for me to cover because I do believe that I posted on Instagram stories for you guys to suggest some things. Let's see what we have. You should I think next video should be the shameless sexualization of women who have not specifically consented to it prior. This may also be known as the mommy epidemic. There is no reason as to why I am saying this. You see, you might think I'm lying. It appears I need to steal another one of my father's beers. That's how I'm gonna end this video. Check out my other videos, I guess. Subscribe, like, hope you have a good day.